So it's Halloween time, and naturally, you want to play some spooky, horror-based games. 80s fans won't have the chance to play Friday the 13th due to it being delayed until spring of 2017. So in its place, we present to you a quality-filled game that might hold you over. Both Sakuta Bro 1 and Sakuta Bro 2 really enjoy this game. We'll start out as if you know nothing or very little about this fun and intense game. The objective of Dead by Daylight is simple. Four survivors are tasked with restoring five generators placed about a map as one of the game's killers attempts to hunt them down and sacrifice them to a vague entity. Players in the role of a survivor are given a third-person perspective as they explore the map and attempt to escape, and those playing as the killer are presented in first person as they hunt down their prey. Every character has unique abilities and unlockable perks, but here the killers feel more distinct amongst each other. Points are earned in several categories on both sides, and are then used to level up your characters and gain new items and perks. The Sakuta Bros feel this game is enjoyed most when players are familiar with both sides of it, and that's where we'll help you out. Survivors are at an advantage when paired together early on in fixing generators, and it's best if each survivor knows the basics. Dead by Daylight incorporates a skill check mechanic, where players must hit the spacebar within the appropriate time. This is just like the active reload of Gears of War games. A failure in your skill check will result in a loss of repair, wasting time. The loud explosion also alerts the killer of your presence. Newcomers should be aware of the audio cue here, as it warns you of the skill check. Once five generators are active, survivors must then make it to one of the two gates and operate the lever which opens it. If the match is not going so well for the survivors, powering three generators with only one survivor alive will open an escape hatch randomly placed in the map. Another important audio cue here is the intensifying heartbeat. This will warn you that the killer is near. The faster the rate of the heartbeat, the closer the killer is. Players will also hear dramatic music if the killer is dangerously close by. Learning the killer's behavior is also important. If you are up against the killer that camps their first victim, for example, it is better to continually repair objectives than attempt a rescue of your teammate. Be aware of any teammates that seem to be waving their arms up and down, as this is now a universal sign of a camping killer. Dead by Daylight is an excellent game of cat and mouse, and either side can create pressure for the other if played well. Dead by Daylight's killers are a more involved affair, and each is generally played differently. The hillbilly is often used best when revving up his chainsaw and dashing across the map as quickly as possible. The wraith can cloak, but is still somewhat visible. The nurse has a teleport move reminiscent of that in Dishonored, but moves very slowly otherwise. And perhaps the best killer, the trapper, is equipped with bear traps that can be placed about the map. The game now also features Michael Myers, who has a unique obsession perk. All players in the role of the killer must focus on reading players' movements. Knowing the map and where a chase player will end up is your key to cutting them off, and well, literally cutting them too. There's also a rather involved leveling and item system here. Survivors are provided tools to speed repairs, med kits to aid healing, and flashlights to potentially stun their would-be killers. Each item also has several attachments available, which improves upon them. Killers can improve their weapons or traps and learn abilities which often aid in hunting down survivors. Map and point modifiers are also available to every player. Dead by Daylight is a great deal at $20. Playing as the killer or survivor feels completely different from the other. And seeing as how you are randomly paired with players of varying experience, every game often feels unique. The asymmetrical nature of this game, however, does invite some negative issues. Dead by Daylight is essentially an online version of Manhunt or Tag from your childhood, with classic horror movie tropes thrown in for good measure. As the months go on, Dead by Daylight proves to be a fantastic deal. Both Sakuta Bros suggest that you play this game, and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the Sakuta Bros today for more gaming goodness.